Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a signboard number animation just by using the 3D camera tracker in After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition. And now go to the project panel and import your video and then drag and drop it on the timeline panel. So now select the pen tool and draw a mask around the number just as shown here. And then press M to open its mask properties and then switch the mask mode to subtract. But now we should make sure the number is inside the mask throughout the video because there is some movement in the video as it was shot while moving on a bike. So we need to track the number. To do so, switch the mask mode to none. Add a mask path at the very first frame and then move one frame forward by pressing the page down key and just make sure the number is inside the mask. In the same way, we should go frame by frame and make sure the number stays inside the mask throughout the composition. Now hold the Alt key, left click and drag over the pointers to open its handles and then you can adjust the path according to your needs. Yeah, we are done with masking. Let's see the preview. Yeah, it looks good. Now again, switch the mask mode to none. And click on track camera. This tracks the camera movement frame by frame and it gives us some tracker points. So here they are. Here I'm selecting all the pointers over the signboard. Yeah, we got the perfect tracker with the same perspective as of the signboard at the very first try. And then right click and click on create text and camera. And let's play and see whether the text is following the camera movement or not. Yeah, the text is perfectly following the camera movement. Now select the text layer and re-edit the text with the number 30. And once again, play it and see whether the text is following the camera movement or not. Now decrease its scale size and try to place it exactly over the original number with the help of the X, Y and Z axis. And then slightly rotate it with the help of Z rotation as shown here. After every adjustment you do, just play and see whether the text is following the camera movement or not. And then scale it down a little bit more. Position it accordingly. Now hide the text layer for a moment. Now select the video layer and then go to the content aware fill panel. In case if you can't find it here, go to window in the menu bar and make sure the content aware fill has a little check mark before it. And then click on create reference frame that will redirect us to Photoshop. Now here select the spot healing brush tool and let's zoom in a little bit and paint over the number which you want to remove. Yeah, now we got a clean plate. Don't forget to save the project file by pressing Ctrl S. Then only we can get a reference frame like this in After Effects, which only lasts for one frame. Let me show you. After that one frame, the original video continues as it is. Now select the video layer and set the mask mode to subtract. And then drag and drop the reference frame layer and place it above the video layer. Now select the video layer and go to the content aware fill panel and set the alpha expansion ideally between 1 to 3 and set the fill method to object. And finally set the range to work area. And then click on generate fill layer that creates a fill layer based on the reference frame that we have generated using Photoshop, which duration length will be throughout the composition. Yeah, let's see the preview. In this case, I got the best results, but sometimes it may not give the results that we wanted. In that case, we need to delete this fill layer and try again the generate fill layer step until we get the results like we wanted. Now drag and place the fill layer over the reference frame and now unhide the text layer. And let's play and see what we have created. Here the text rotation needs to be corrected. You can do that with the help of Z rotation like this. Now position it a little bit upwards with the help of the Y axis in the position property. Now it's much perfect. Now it's time to animate the numbers. To do so, select the text tool and go to the effects and presets panel and search for the slider control effect. Now expand its text properties and pick whip the source text to the slider control in the effects control panel. And now expand the source text properties as well and pick web the source text to the slider control. 
Now come to the source text expression tab and come to the very beginning of the expression and type math.tron with capital M and a parenthesis as well and delete this closed bracket and type it at the very end of the expression just like this. Yeah, we are done here. Let's collapse all these text properties and come to the FX control panel and here set the starting value to 30 and add a keyframe at the very beginning and then come few frames forward on the timeline and let's increase the value to something like EIT. Yeah, we are done. Let's play and see what we have created. Yeah, that looks super cool, isn't it? In this way, you can easily create a signboard demo animation by using the track camera feature in After Effects. So yeah, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please do hit the subscribe button down below.